All right, in this tutorial, we're going to really do some housekeeping. Uh, what we're going to do is show you how to get rid of all of the sample data that came in with our rocket launcher. You've probably had a chance now to go through and uh, check out some of the pages and get a feel for some of the uh, things that this template can do, the different styles that you could start out with. And, you know, some of you might be a little concerned about uh, losing some of this great sample information because it uh, is really a good source of ideas and, and uh, lets you know easily what is possible with this template. Well, remember that at any time after you delete all of this sample data, uh, you can go back to the Rocket Theme website, click on Joomla, find the spectral template there, and go to the demo site, or just simply save that uh, URL somewhere and so that at any time you can go to the sample site uh, that uses the spectral template and get an idea that way of the different options that are available to you with this template. For example, I often like to come back to this module positions to get an idea of, of where I'm at. I should probably just take a screenshot of it. But uh, there's uh, also other good information that we'll want to reference, uh, such as module variations and uh, topography. You know, we'll, we'll come back to that in another tutorial. But there is a lot of good information here that we will use as we design our site. So keep in mind that you can come back. But let me show you how to get rid of uh, this information. We want to basically do it in three separate areas. First of all, we'll do it in Module Manager. Go to Extensions, Module Manager. What we should do is have you go down to the very bottom and click on All so that all of the modules associated with this website selected in one big sweep by going over and clicking the button at the top of the list. And now uh, as we scroll down we see that uh, all of them have been selected. Um, there might be one or two that we should save, like, uh, well, first of all, let's maybe sort on title so we can find these. And after you sort, you'll probably have to click the box again. Uh, the one we're looking for, especially, that we want to kind of hang on to is this showcase, the FP Rock Sprocket Showcase. This is the uh, container that contains our choir shot so we want to hang on to that let's maybe keep main menu in case that's something important but I believe the rest we can delete and uh, so with them all selected except for those two let's go over and hit the trash button and now we're only left with two modules. Just to see what that did to our site, let's go view site. And uh, what we have left is our choir. And we have uh, the image that we defined in our template manager of the ships. We hardly see any of it uh, left. But as we add more information down here at the bottom, such as contact information or maybe a footer menu, we'll get more of that image back. So that's looking about the way I wanted it to. Let's uh, go back. There's one more step that you really need to do in order to permanently delete. Uh, right now, all we have done is put them in the trash, but there's another step. We have to actually empty the trash <laughs> in order for all of these to go away. And it is kind of good to, to make them really go away because when you go to create new modules using the new button, if you happen to enter the same name as one of these trashed items, then Joomla might uh, uh, throw up a red flag and ask you to come up with a different name. And we want to be able to have all the names uh, usable, so we're going to empty the trash. And how you can do that is go over to this button here. It says Select Status and go to Trashed. Now all of those items that we put in the trash show up and once again we can select them all by clicking on the top button, scroll down to make sure all the items are checked, and uh, then we can go up and say yes please, empty the trash. Okay, now it'll show up where it says there's no modules installed matching your query. And <laughs> what can happen with this is uh, say, say you've emptied all the trash, you go on to something else, you come back, and you look at this error message, 
and you think, oh no, what happened to all my, my modules? Well, what's going on here is that we have selected the trashed um, and that's the way we've left it. If we went back to published, now we would see our two items show up again. So if you get that error message, don't panic. Uh, it's probably an issue of uh, the status being pointed to trashed instead of published. Okay, and now what we want to do is go over to content and select category manager. Hmm, I think we better go with articles first. It might not let us delete categories if there are articles contained in those categories. Basically, we can get rid of all of these articles. None of these articles relate to us at all. And for example, we'll probably want to create a page called About Us. If we left this uh, published, then we wouldn't be able to actually use or, or create an article with that same name. Uh, Joomla wouldn't let us. And there's another reason of getting rid of all of this sample data. And that is, once you submit your website to Google or other search engines, it's actually going to send its robots through all of these sample articles. And you're going to be advertising more for Rocket Theme than you are for your site if all of these articles for Rocket Theme are installed. So, you know, if you leave these live or published or perhaps even in trash, without actually emptying the trash, you may end up with a, a problem with your search engines. They may say, oh, this, this information is duplicated all over the internet by everybody else that's uploaded this uh, template using Rocket uh, Launcher and have left these articles on their site. And so they might say, well, this can't be a valid site uh, because it's duplicated information that we find on, in a lot of other places. And so it, it might not give any of your site a high ranking at all because it just considers it to be uh, sample stuff. So we do want to get rid of these, all of this for, for a number of reasons, including search engine optimization. So with them all selected, let's go down and make sure all are selected. Yeah, all are being displayed, I should say. Let's select all. And then, making sure they're all checked, let's hit the trash, uh, select status, and go to trashed, and hit that again. Empty trash. Okay, now we can actually go to categories right from this same window. We don't have to go back up to content and choose category manager. We can switch to the category manager right here. Looks like uh, we're not dealing with uh, that many uh, categories and we're going to have to just add categories probably in the next tutorial anyway. So if there's any categories here that you think that might work in your organizational structure that you come up with for your website, then um, don't worry about deleting these. It's, it's always good to have an uncategorized uh, category so we could leave that. I probably won't have a features category in my organization structure or pages. I might have a blog. We can leave that front page. I'll probably delete that. Okay, so trash those and select those for permanent deletion, empty trash. And when you're done, just so you don't freak out later, probably go back to publish. We should have done that for articles as well. Let's go back to articles and change our status or select category. So yeah, status back to published. Okay, now one more place. I think I said there's three places we need to go to. I forgot about menus. We need to go over to menus and choose main menu. And let's go down, make sure that all are selected and displayed. And let's do the same, except let's leave the home button. So select all and then uncheck home. But all of the rest of the menu items can go away. So once again, we'll select status. No, hold on. First of all, we need to actually trash these. Then select our status. Go to trashed. Select all and empty trash. All right. Well, I think that that does it for cleaning up our website. Now we see we don't have a whole lot left. Even our menu buttons are gone. All right. So I believe that that does it for our tutorial on how to permanently delete items in Joomla.